Hi, so how do you tell the difference between an authentic uh, football or soccer jersey or a, a fake one? So today I'm going to show you an authentic Barcelona 2015-2016 jersey that I bought online from a reputable place versus a, a fake one that I bought uh, in Laos. Now one of the uh, key differences obviously is going to be price. So if it uh, looks too good to be true, it probably is. For example, this jersey cost uh, 150 US dollars uh, online, and the uh, the fake one was was less than 10 US dollars uh, at a store in Laos. Um, the other thing is going to be the fit of it. So Nike actually makes two different uh, versions themselves. It's almost like they rip themselves off. They make what they call the the match or performance or player issue, which is basically the same jersey that the players uh, wear on the pitch. Uh, and then they make one that they call Stadium, which is, you know, for the fans, it's cheaper, and it's also uh, bigger. Uh, so this, uh, the match one is a tighter fit uh, for athletic bodies. Uh, I prefer that, uh, being a fairly fit person. The, I find that the size small in the Stadium version is, is too big and a bit baggy, whereas this is size small in the, in the match version. Uh, as you can see, it fits quite snug and tightly. And I'll, I'll put the, uh, uh, the other one on to show you the difference. Okay, so this is the, the fake, the knockoff version of the, of the Barcelona away jersey. And obviously the one I was wearing was their, their home jersey. And this is uh, a knockoff of the authentic, or, or as Knight calls it, the match jersey. And as you can see, it's a lot more baggy, or it's not quite as tight a fit. It's pro it probably is still a tighter, tighter fit than the Nike uh, official uh, stadium version, because on, on me they're even bigger still. But I'm going to show you a few more detailed differences as well. Okay, so the main differences between these are quality and the material used, and there's a few other little tricks that I'll show you as well. And it's also going to depend on the, the quality of the fake. Obviously this is a pretty good quality fake, um, but it's actually I suppose more similar to Mike's own ripoff, the, um, the stadium version, than the actual authentic version. On the uh, 2015 version of the Nike uh, soccer or football jerseys, they have these ventilation holes in the back. Let's see those. Now on the real stadium, or home, sorry, the real match version, you can see that these five holes at the back have all got uh, a lining to, to reinforce and strengthen them and the same with the holes on the sleeve. The other thing you'll notice is that there's a different material. So if you hold hold this up to the light you can see see through this material here on the inside it's got a quite um, hollow weave for aeration and it's actually got a, a different material uh, up the top here at the back of the neck. So the, the fake, the knockoff, it uh, still has the holes, but as you can see, there's no, no reinforcement around those holes on the inside. So there's the holes. And also the, the fabric is pretty much the same fabric up the top here as it is down here. And it's not, you can't see through it as easily. It's not as aerated. It's a lot smoother. Okay, looking on the inside as well, on the you know, authentic match version, you can see that they've got an extra layer of, it's like a film here that goes over the, the seam, so it's like a heat pressed seam, it's not stitched. This is on the, the inside of the collar, whereas on the, on the knockoff, you know, you've just got stitching there. So as you can see the difference between the, the yellow knockoff here and the uh, authentic Nike one here. Also, if you look at the, the stitching on the band down the side, so the originals or the authentic Nike one has got you know, doubled over stitching. Uh, it's, it's quite neat and tidy, whereas the, the fakes completely different. It's a, um, a much cheaper type of stitching. Uh, the other thing is the 
type of material it's used down this side on the fake version it's the same material all the way down all the way to the sleeve whereas on the the real Nike one it starts with um, similar sort of material but then the holes get bigger as you make your way to the sleeve and then they're quite large holes there and again here you can see the material on the sleeves is slightly different to the material on the shirt itself another thing is is the stitching just around the whole outside so this is the the bottom of the jersey so you can see it's got two two rows of stitching there particular style but the the fabric has just been cut and the stitching put across whereas on the authentic one the so there's only one row of stitching but the fabric's been folded under and, and stitched along so it leaves a lot smoother and it's not going to fray and that's along the bottom and uh, also the same thing around the sleeves it's been folded under whereas on the sleeves of the fake again it's just been cut off so you can see that little flap there another good point is is the tags so on this tag you'll see this is the authentic one the numbers on here the, the style uh, the color number and the size now if you look at the the tag on the inside of the jersey so it's got that same same number there the 658790 then the 422 and it's got the s up there for small uh, the knockoff doesn't even have that tag on the inside um, some of the ones I've seen do but it's just got these larger tags okay so another feature is these authentic tags that Nike puts on here so on the match versions the Nike uh, authentic tags are gold on the uh, stadium versions they're actually silver now one of the key differences you can see here is that the, the fake ones actually stitched on whereas the authentic ones actually heat pressed on the numbers are similar um, this is sort of like a realistic number so it, it looks like it could be real if the numbers are too low then it could be a fake as well uh, the other thing I noticed was that uh, when I was in the store and I picked up this jersey uh, I compared this number on here against uh, some other jerseys that they had there there was a Paris a Saint Germain jersey, and they actually had the exact same number. So the, you know, the forgers are going to make one of these tags with the exact same number, print heaps of them, and put them on all the shirts. So if you, if you're getting online, you can't necessarily look at all the other jerseys there. But um, if they've got photographs of the tags, then you might be able to tell if they're all the same number across different uh, clubs. Then that obviously means they're fake. Um, now the material that's used in this fake is, is probably uh, similar in feel uh, to the material that's used in Nike's uh, stadium version. Um, so don't get confused between this um, and, the, and the official Nike stadium version because the Nike stadium version has the same material down the inside uh, here as well rather than having the one that, that changes on the, on the match version. Okay, so if we go to the, the logo itself, now this, they, they both look very similar. In this case, the, uh, I think the yellow here on the, on the fake is a bit off. It's a bit brighter uh, than it is on the uh, authentic Nike one. The other thing is that it's, it's quite soft and thin. It's really easy to fold. It hasn't got a lot of stiffness to it, whereas the... Um, Authentic one's got quite a bit of stiffness and bulk to it. Other thing is the uh, the printing on the shirt. So this is the Qatar Airways logo. Now it's it's quite thin as well, and it doesn't have any little plastic coating over it. It's quite easy to fold, whereas the on the authentic one, if you look closely, it's got a little clear plastic coating around the edge, and it's you know, quite stiff so the it's not folding as easily it's, it's quite thick and that's the same on the sleeves 
So the, the logo on the sleeve, it's the same sort of thing. Look at that closely. You can see the, the clear bit over the top. These are quite smooth. And the, the UNICEF logo on the back. It's a, just a stiffer feel in comparison to the, the fake. It's quite soft. Okay, so another thing to note is the uh, quality of the stitching inside the neck. So inside here, you can see that inside the neck at the front. This is the authentic version. There's, it's got the stitching around the top here, but the folded over piece of fabric is actually glued or heat bonded uh, together there. And you can see a little bit of um, some sort of plasticky material over the edge there. Whereas on the fake, you've got different stitching up here, but this is just folded over. Um, and it's really you know, poor quality in comparison. So the other piece is also the, the dry fit stitching. So look at the, the fake. You've got the stitching there is um, quite thick and solid, but there's not much of a gap between the, uh, the letters. Whereas the, the authentic, uh, it's actually a finer uh, stitching there. It's thicker and it's got a bit of a space between it. So if we see the two side by side, you can see that the authentic blue one there, it's a bit of a, a thinner um, stitching as far as the, the boldness of the, the letters themselves and a bit more of a gap between the letters. Okay, so another thing on the authentic one, on the sleeve here, is actually a dart both on the back well, it's the front, sorry, and on the back. So a dart in the stitching. You can see that there. Some dart in the front. So then on the inside, so you've got the well, so here you've got the, the darts across on the sleeve. And on this one, you've actually got a whole on this one they've actually got a whole panel stitched on here. Whereas with the uh, Authentic one, it's the same piece of fabric and it's just got the darts in there on the fake on the sleeve. It's a, it's a separate panel stitched in there. So, yeah, those are the, the main differences. Uh, don't get confused between the, the Nike Match and the Nike Stadium, but this is a, you know, an official uh, Nike Match player issue and this is a, a knockoff like match issue. So those are the sorts of things to look for when you're trying to spot a, a fake uh, Nike soccer or football jersey. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.